Jamal, did you do laundry again? Yep, it's not gonna do itself. Did you use hot water? Nope. Then how do you explain this? <laughs> oh. Don't blame me. Blame your two best friends, Ben and Jerry. Are you calling me fat? You don't shrink my sweater to a halter top. <laughs> Let's face it, Tony. You look like a busted can of biscuits. <laughs> oh, it's raining jokes. Have a seat, muffin top. <laughs> Hi, hey, what's hey, up? Hey, guys, how are you? Hey, nice man bra. Mm. <laughs> Marcus, I have the most amazing news. You ready for this? The studio is releasing your passion project. The ski bomb? Mm -hmm. That's my all-time favorite. It's mm -hmm. been on the shelf for like three years. That's the movie where you played the homeless skiing chair. Yeah. You stopped drinking and you picked up the slopes. I wrote, produced, directed, and starred in that film. It's truly my labor of love. Well, love don't pay the bills. Against my advice, you didn't take a dime up front. We don't get paid unless it's a hit. I didn't do Ski Bum for the money. Ski Bum puts me in the same league as De Niro, DiCaprio. And don't forget Delusional. <laughs> The sensation Marcus Jackson is being prosecuted for his recent mishap with the paparazzi. I find you guilty as charged and order you to teach a class at South Central High School. Sure, but I can't be late for PE. The guys get really upset if they can't slap me with their towels. Well, I want you to know that you're doing great this semester. And if you nail this next test, you're going to get an A in my class for sure. Wow. I love getting A's. Milton, I'm really, really proud of you. You could be a role model for this entire school. You mean like everybody's going to want to be like me? Uh. No, not exactly. Uh, but they're all going to want to get better grades. Seeing you work hard, it validates me as a teacher. I get it. If I get an A on your next test, it'll make both of us look good. Mm -hmm. I mean, not saying you don't look good already. Thank you, Milton. Except when you wear too much blush. You do that a lot. <laughs> or when you wear that purple shawl. Did you make that? Don't you have a class to get to? Samantha, I found this purple shawl in the teacher's lounge. Is it yours? No, no, that's not mine. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh. Dominoes. <laughs> Bobby, what's going on with the premiere? Well, everything's moving forward, but I'm getting mixed signals from the studio. Mixed signals? Like what? Ah, uh, it's more like drop signals. They hung up on me. <laughs> Why would they do that? Probably because I was screaming at them at the top of my lungs. They want to have the premiere in Alaska. And Marcus, they want you to fly coach. <laughs> yeah, all right. They don't even have coach on a private jet. <laughs> exactly. They're flying you commercial. And when you land, they're not sending a limo. They're sending a dog sled. Well, that could be fun. <laughs> Think again. They're sending the sled. No dogs. <laughs> Don't you get it? They're trying to bury the movie. This is the best performance of my career. I gotta get it to the people. Matter of fact, how about we set up a screening at the school? You sure you wanna do that? Absolutely. Set up a preview at South Central High School and I'll pick up the cost. Wow, how generous of you. You'll pick up the cost of a whole DVD. <laughs> all right, all right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. It's not like we had a choice. You made this our homework. And rolling out the red carpet for your boy. <laughs> Actually, I think that's blood. <laughs> Isn't this just fabulous? South Central High's very first premiere. All the glitz, all the glamour, and that's just me. <laughs> hey, good luck to that, Marcus. I don't need luck, Freddy. This movie's going down in history. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be just like the Titanic. Exactly. One of the biggest box office hits of all time. 
I was referring to the actual ship, not the movie. But hey, think happy thoughts. I'm proud to be here at South Central with all the people I truly care about and Principal Martin. I just got a shout out. You must be so proud. Honestly, this film is dear to my heart. And let it be a reminder that true greatness only comes when you follow your passion. And right now, this is my gift to you and to the world. My personal masterpiece, The Ski Bum. Enjoy my movie. Yay! Have a good day, ma'am. Hey, man, you want your windows washed? I'm walking here, you bum. Let's go jump off a bridge, Robert Williams. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? It's like God's icy fingers are touching my homeless soul. <laughs> Wait. I feel something changing. I don't want no more booze. I just feel the need, the need to ski, <laughs> to go for the girl. Hey, Coach, I'm going to open the window. It's starting to stink in here. I know. Isn't it great? <laughs> you ain't never skied in your life, and the Olympics is next week. Why should I waste my time coaching you? Maybe I never skied the slopes. But I skied many times in my mind. <laughs> Help me, skis, maybe. Help me win the Olympic gold. All right, kid, I'll help you. But there's only one way to become a ski champion in one day. <laughs> and that's to outrace the avalanche. <laughs> What's that? Dynamite! <laughs> Go, Steve Um! Ski for your life! Go for the Olympic Go I'm in charge of my own destiny. Child! Ain't no mountain high enough to beat us, right? Skis, maybe. Everybody think I was rooting for the avalanche. You know how you taught us that if we don't have anything nice to say, we shouldn't say anything at all. Yeah, but well, what about it? Wait. Oh. Hey, come on, guys, come on, listen. Hey, stop. You guys didn't even see the bonus footage. It's amazing. Bonus footage? Uh uh. Mm, no. Get out of my way, people, or I will trample you. <laughs> What happened to Bobby? He climbed out the window during your dance number in the movie. Yeah, break dances with wolves was pretty hard to watch. Hey, Marcus, are we going to translate the movie into Spanish? No. Oh, good. My people are safe. <laughs> mm. What am I going to do, Bobby? If my friends are dissing me like this, what's the public going to say? We're doomed. Ski bum will never make a dime. What were you thinking? We all tried to talk you out of it. Not true. Are you kidding me? I stood on this very spot three years ago and begged you not to do the movie. Don't do it! 
too subtle for you? <laughs> yeah, man, I remember telling you not to do it too. I never forget it. It was a gray September morning, 64 degrees outside. I was wearing a fuchsia t-shirt I got from your closet. <laughs> Don't make that movie, Jab Turkey. <laughs> Yeah, my head was fly back then. <laughs> it was an aphrodisiac. I tried to talk you out of it, too. I begged and begged, and you wouldn't listen. <laughs> Marcus, you genius. Ski Bum is brilliant. You should direct, write, act, do everything. <laughs> what a sucker. I know it. What was up with your grill? Look like you've been chewing chains. Don't be dissing my flashback. You believe this. Ski bum is gonna sink my career. Yeah, it's going downhill real fast. Bobby, what are we gonna do? Look, let's just all relax. You screen the movie for a few loser teachers and a bunch of future inmates. Most of them have never even seen the snow. Although they do know a lot about bums. Let's just wait and see what the critics have to say. <laughs> yeah, right. Morning, Marcus. Beautiful day, isn't it? For who? Come on, Marcus. The birds are chirping, the sky is blue, and nobody said a word about that horrible movie you made. <laughs> I mean, you want some waffles? No, I don't want waffles. I just want my life back. Then blueberries it is. <laughs> the reviews are in. What did I tell you? 100% positive. I knew the press would appreciate the ski bum. Ah, appreciates an understatement. Listen to this. The ski bum, what a movie. New York Times. Oh, and, th and this one. This film is destined to be a classic. Yes. Daily variety. Oh, and listen to this. This is filmmaking at its finest. Tom Hanks was brilliant. <laughs> Tom Hanks? He's not in my movie. Uh, oh, I mean, I meant Marcus Jackson. <laughs> Give me this is a review for Forrest Gump. Oh, how'd that get in there? This is what it really says. Ski bum. What a movie to skip. <laughs> oh, man. Ski bum. Destined to be a classic. Bomb. <laughs> I'm sorry, Marcus. I was just trying to cheer you up. You can't cheer me up, Bobby. I'm gyrating in a hopeless abyss. Oh, in the graveyard of ambition. <laughs> and I thought he overacted in the movie. Come on, come Yo, on. I can describe the ski bum in two words. Painful. You know what? No, he wrote that mess and he gave me a C on my book report? <laughs> no, no, no. My favorite part was when he goes, Darn you, my favorite part is when it said the end. What was that voice? Was were you guys talking about my movie? Oh, oh. Uh, uh, no, we were talking about starting a ski club. Yeah, yeah. really? Yeah. yeah, you know, we just felt the need. The, the need to ski. just finished grading your test. Oh. Okay. And I have to tell you, I am very disappointed in you. Why, Miss Owens, what happened? You got an F. You've been my best student all semester. What happened? I'll tell you what happened. You happened. You put too much pressure on me. I'm no role model. I'm just me. This is all your fault. God. Hey, easy, Milton. I'm a failure, Mr. J. I failed. Come here, Milton. Let me talk to you about life, man. Look, you're just a snot-nosed kid. What do you know about failure? Have you ever lost an amazing career? Have you? Ah! There goes his Teacher of the Year award. Tony, we're in trouble. Two days ago, Marcus had 25 movie offers. Today, he doesn't have a single one. Every studio in town is backing away from him. It's Ralph Washburn all over again. Who's Ralph Washburn? Exactly. Marcus hasn't been to work or showered in three days. Is that what that smell is? I thought you brought home a copy of the ski bomb. <laughs> I'm serious, Tony. If he keeps this up, he's gonna turn into a real bump. No, he's not. I'm working on something that's guaranteed to lift his spirits. 
I'm writing fan mail to let them know there's people still out there that love him. Wait, let me see this. This is written on Marcus Jackson letterhead. <laughs> and you put your name on it. Ah, right. You think that's a tip off? You think? <laughs> and look at this. That's not even a real stamp. You drew a picture of one. <laughs> you think I'm gonna put a real stamp on a fake fan letter? That's stupid. <laughs> Hey, buddy. Like the new look. Pity party. Hmm. Don't start, Bobby. I'm not in the mood. Yeah, I wouldn't be in the mood either if I'd made the worst movie ever. Nobody's gonna get that? Sorry, I'm busy working on your self-esteem. You're gonna be working a long time. Hi, Marcus. We're sorry to come by unannounced, but you've called in sick for three days and we were worried about you. She was worried. I was suspicious. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm not feeling well. <clears throat> oh my God, Marcus, please. You're not a good enough actor to fake an illness. <laughs> hey, did you forget we saw the ski bomb? <laughs> okay, fine. I'm just not in condition to teach. I'm very depressed. Well, so are half the teachers at the school. Just do what they do. Drink your breakfast and get to work. Can't you be nice? Well, sure I can, but what's the fun in that? Marcus, come here. Now, I know you're upset, but there's something I need to tell you. What? Milton quit school this week. What? Because my movie bombed? Now, that's a fan. Will you stop focusing on yourself? Kate. It's because he failed his last test. He's done really well all year, and then he has one setback, and it sends him into a tailspin. Wow, that sounds familiar. <laughs> Listen, Milton is a good kid with a lot of potential, and as long as he keeps trying, he will succeed. But he's destined for failure if he quits. Well, that was very moving. You know, you're a better actor than he is. I believe what I said. Really? You also believe that those shoes match that blouse. It's gonna be a long ride back to the school. Oh, I've got news for you. Hmm? Those shoes that you're wearing are your ride. Okay, I know what I gotta do. Burn every copy of the ski bum? No, I gotta find Milton. Hey, kid, we need more fried rice. And don't forget the tea. Yes, sir, coming up. Hey. Hey, Mr. J. Table for one? Nah, man, I came here to talk to you, not to eat. Good. You don't want to eat here. They recycle the crispy noodles. <laughs> Milton, you don't belong here. Look, just because I'm not Chinese doesn't mean I can't climb the ladder. I mean, they told me if I play my cards right, I could be head busboy before I'm 50 years old. <laughs> no, I mean, you got to come back to school. You can't let one bad grade ruin your entire future. Mr. J. I was supposed to be a role model. I let everyone down. No, you didn't, Milton. You can't let one bad grade define who you are, just like I can't let one bad movie define me. I don't know, Mr. J. The ski bum really stunk. <laughs> don't push it. Sorry. Look, the point is, I made a bunch of great movies before I made The Ski Bum, and I'll make a bunch of great ones after it, too. And you'll have time to make plenty good grades, but you have to be back in school. Well, maybe you're right. No, I know I'm right, Milton. Bottom line is, we never quit. But I got this great gig here. What am I supposed to do? That's easy. Quit. <laughs> All right, I got it. I'll be back to school tomorrow. I was tired of smelling like fried shrimp anyways. <laughs> hey, kid, where's my rice? Hey, you need to adjust your Kung Pao attitude. Yeah, and get your own rice. I quit. I have a test to retake. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man, can you spare some change for a lift ticket? <laughs> I feel the need, the need to ski. 